G'day, this video profiles the Black Range track which runs from Whitfield to Lake Buffalo across the Black Range State Forest. We entered the track from Cooper's Lane at Whitfield and headed up into the bush. We made a bit of a mistake, we started to follow the transmission line track here, should have gone to the right, so we just cut back onto the track there. We did this track following around about four inches of rain, so the track was fairly cut up from all of the uh, runoff from the track. Generally speaking, I'd say this track is an easy track to do. Anyone with a with a four-wheel drive can quite comfortably do the track. It's a really nice run. I think the track's around about 25 kilometres long, so it's a decent old run through the hills. You can see here the track's been fairly rutted from the overnight rain. I think prior to this it was probably in really good condition. There's a couple of steep climbs along the track, it sort of goes up and down along the ridge line. You can see here we're, we've popped up onto the ridge line and it's fairly narrow. It's a really good run, the track's in great condition. Some pretty decent views. So the peaks along the track are all around about 1,000 to 1,100 metres, so you're getting up into some really good elevation. You can see there there'd been some fuel reduction burning just recently, so they torched the forest. On this trip, there was a fair bit of vegetation across the track just because of the stormy weather. The previous couple of days, needed to grab the chainsaw and knock a few up to get through. Black Range track passes by the Edai area which is renowned for its turquoise mines. So we dropped down one of the side tracks and found one of the mines which was damn cool. A uh, lot of interesting history to check out in this area. Here's the first tree we had to chop up, pretty big one. Here's another heap of tree trunks that had fallen across the track. Pulled the chainsaw out again. Uh, we just put the drag chain on it. Always carry a drag chain rather than dragging logs with the winch rope. Otherwise you'll destroy your winch rope. Anyway, we got that one cleared and kept on shooting along. Here we are passing a forest plantation near Cropper Creek. So some of the slopes, as you can hear from the engine revving, are really steep. There's nothing that would stop anyone from getting up there. It's just that they are reasonably steep, but the track condition is excellent. So I think this is a great track for all four wheel drivers to go and have a crack at. kind of see from some of these ridge lines the, a bit of a hint of the views. We are heading towards Mount Buffalo so you get some pretty cool views as you get towards the end of the track. Just need to take it a little bit easy. Um, definitely we're driving in low range down, up and down a lot of these, these uh, slopes because they are quite steep but there are no major uh, obstacles to worry about.
There's the Mount Buffalo range in the distance. Here we are on the final descent. You hit a pine plantation at the bottom of the hill. The track itself goes to the right. You have a short run down through the pine plantation and then ultimately you come out on the Buffalo River Road. So awesome track to do. Hope you enjoyed the video.